came by to drop in his wedding acceptance and let me know he was moving back to Mrs. Mangles. The old dragon let him come home, eh? Is that going to be awkward for you? No, actually, I'm quite glad. You know he offered to help pay for the wedding? Nah, he's a good bloke. Yes. Do you think I did the wrong thing, breaking off the engagement? Mum, I can't answer that for you. But I do know he's the best thing that's happened to you in a long time. Yeah. And I blew it, as you'd say. Well, probably wouldn't take much to put things right. I reckon he's only waiting for you to make the first move. Mrs. Mangle said something about a church dance. What do you think? You at a church dance? Well, why not? I mean, Harold loves that sort of thing. There you go. All set. Oh, good heavens, those customers will be climbing the walls. Mum? Mm? I reckon you'd have a ball at that dance. Ask him. I might just do that. Is Erinsborough normally a part of your territory, Miss Donnelly? Been my people's territory for thousands of years. Actually, that's why I've been assigned to the area. Aboriginal history is mostly verbal, so I have background knowledge. Well, this is it. The lake was recently dredged just as a general clean-up. Well, that's when my sister found the bone. Pretty clever of you to recognise it. I thought it was a dinosaur bone, but a friend took it to uni. He found out it was human. Naturally, we took it to the police and they handed it over to the archaeologists who, of course, contacted you. Can you show me exactly where it was? It was in the junk Henry dredged up. Do you think we've got a burial site at the bottom of the lake? Oh, I doubt it. Come look at this. The tribal history indicates a burial site about a kilometre away. This survey map indicates a stream which was diverted. And what probably happened, the stream flooded at some stage and washed the bone down here. Does that mean there might be other bones in the lake? It's possible. So what do you people want to do? I've got a large project planned for this area. I don't really like the idea of having to dredge the lake again. Neither do we, Mr. Robertson. In fact, we'd be a lot happier if the whole area was left totally undisturbed. So, what happens now? Do you take action against us to reclaim the land, I suppose? Well, slow down, Mr. Robertson. There's not going to be any legal challenge here. So the project can go ahead? It's up to you. I see. Uh, would you excuse us for a moment, Gail? Um, Jane, would you make a cup of coffee for Miss Donnelly? I don't like graveyards. They're creepy. You can't help respecting Miss Donnelly's beliefs. I do respect them. But Lassiter's is my major concern. Mm. What are you going to do? I'm going to show her these. I mean, hopefully we can come to some compromise. Hmm? Well, why don't you just put the bones back where they belong? Well, I'll take the bone back to the elders and they'll decide what happens. Well, my people think differently to yours about this. You go to the cemetery to see graves, don't you? I take flowers out to my mum sometimes. She died when I was a baby. Well, tribal people don't do that. The only time we go to the burial site is to bury people, and then we leave them in peace. Don't you miss them? We know that they're always there, and we know that their spirits share in our lives. It's our way. But don't you want to be like everybody else? We were the first Australians, Lucy. And if we lose our culture, Every other Australian loses too. Look, I can't be responsible for the entire Aboriginal heritage. What I am responsible for is Lassiter's. I understand that, Mr Robinson. And thank you for listening. Look, this is a fairly big complex. I'm sure we can find somewhere else for our development plans. The lake will remain undisturbed. Thank you. One moment, please. Oh, thank heaven you caught up with me. I'd have had neighbourhood watch down on me if I'd have tried to get in without this, eh? <laughs> it seems almost risque, giving a house key to a gentleman. Only Jane and my late husband had them. Oh, would have slipped your mind, of course. But I did have one of these before, you know. Oh, so you did. Such a nuisance, this memory loss. Well, I'll see you at home this evening. <clears throat> before you go... Oh, something you want at the shops? Uh, no, no. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Bishop, are you a dancing man? Beg your pardon? I, I mean, do you enjoy the waltz or the foxtrot, perhaps? Um, yes, yes, I do. Of course, you won't recall, but, um, you and I did a tango not that long ago. 
We did? Yes. Oh, well, then, you may be interested to know that there's a dance at the church hall this weekend. I had considered attending myself, but it is awkward, a woman alone. Mrs. Mangle, it would give me the greatest pleasure to escort you to the church dance. How very kind of you, Mr. Bishop. If it wouldn't interfere with any plans you have. For you, I'd change them. Until this evening. Some of those specials are a bit ambitious, aren't they? Shouldn't you be taking it easy? Like I'm pregnant, not sick. It's not the way it looked earlier. So that's why you stayed here instead of going to uni. You shouldn't be missing out because of me. It's only one day. I'll be in the kitchen, OK? Mike, wait, please. Oh, we're busy. Can I get you something? Daphne, there's not a soul in here but us and you're my friends. Look, Nan's looked after me all these years and I know she's being a pain, but things aren't easy for her either and she needs my support. She won't need anyone's support if she wins the court case. There's more than money involved. There's friendship too. Just because Nan's acting like this doesn't mean we have to. You're right. Let's agree to disagree and drop the subject, OK? I'll be in that. Great. Actually, I came over to invite you to a party. I'm having a kitchen tea for Charlene tomorrow night. Can you come? Where is the party? At my house. Look, Jane, I hope you have a great time and I'd love to send over a present for Charlene, but there's no way I'm setting foot in your grandmother's house. Miss Donnelly's really nice. She told me I could get a reward for finding that bone. Yeah, lucky girl. It's a book of Aboriginal legends. I think people are more interesting than dinosaurs, don't you? Yeah. Well, there's a lot more of them around, isn't there? Now, listen, shouldn't you be getting home? Oh, yeah. I've got to go and pick up Victoria and Albert from Emma's place. Bye. See Bye, guys. See you, Lucy. Who are Victoria and Albert? Mice. Oh, she's looking after them for a friend. You'd think they were royalty, though. I think we should have another look at these plans. What do you think about the back of the gym complex for the Vistro? Mm, sounds good to me. Mm. That was a nice thing you did, you know, Paul. It wasn't entirely unselfish. I mean, good PR is good for business. You should know that. Mm. I think I might erect a memorial to our Australian Aboriginals. Sell off a few boomerangs, that sort of thing. I mean, the tourists are going to love it. Paul, you can't do that. No, but I had you going, didn't I? You rat. There you are. Thanks, Mum. Working in the cell is a case of water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Well, I do appreciate what you've done, love. At least I'll be able to find things down there now. Oh, right now, all I want to find is a shower and some clean gear. Oh, I'm going over to Mike's tonight. Why don't you ask Carol to come over? Oh, no, I, I don't want to rush things. Well, don't miss out. Huh? I make myself scarce. I don't want the beer to go flat. <laughs> I really must speak to Mr. Robinson about dress regulations. Just look at that young lout over there. That young lout happens to be my son. Uh, oh, he uh, <clears throat> takes after his father, I assume. Mm -hmm. Well, how have you been coping so far? Oh, quite well. With a few exceptions, everyone's been quite helpful and I'll soon have the others under control. Oh, yes, I'm sure you will. Oh, did you come to any decision about your gentleman friend? Mm. Thanks to our conversation, I not only made the decision, but I took action. The gentleman concerned was most pleased to accept my invitation to the dance. Romance is in the air, Mrs. Mitchell. Mr. Bishop is such a charming man. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors. Just a friendly wave each morning. Helps to make a better day Neighbors Need to get to know each other Next door is only A footstep away Neighbors Everybody needs good neighbors Standing, you can find the perfect plan. Neighbors should be there for one another. That's
That's when good neighbors become 